Who says everyone has to have a normal house? Anyways. place the uh, flying saucer house because if you actually stand there and look at it it looks like a, a flying saucer that's sitting on a little landing pad and uh, my wife and I discovered that one when we were just walking around the neighborhood uh, looking for houses because uh, when you're younger uh, you know you're looking at moving into a new house that's what you, you check out the neighborhoods just didn't expect to find that in our town and in case you've always noticed that in a lot of my videos I I comment on houses and it's uh, it's, it's sort of funny is that when I was going to school I was being pulled in two directions one of them was uh, become an aerospace engineer and the other one was uh, an architect and I got talked out of aerospace engineering and uh, as beautiful and interesting as it is it was as a job it was going to really really suck and uh, I actually ended up falling into a, a not a bad job so I just sort of never went on to become an architect but I still design things I've uh, you know the, the garage my motorcycles are in are actually a garage I designed to fit in with uh, the house we live in but I've always had an eye for architecture and uh, I've always uh, liked houses now what's this got to do with motorcycles well so several years ago when I was uh, in southwestern Pennsylvania in fact I was about 50 uh, miles or about 80 kilometers south of uh, of uh, Pittsburgh, I visited Frank Lloyd Wright's designed house, Falling Water, which was uh, built for the Kaufman family and is probably one of the most photographed houses, even though technically it was a summer vacation house, probably in the world. And uh, I'll put a little picture of it here, so you know you can you can see. Okay, that's that's probably the picture most people. Uh, get to look at. Now, it, it cost us like $50 a person to get what was called the uh, the, uh, the the private tour where they actually take you through the whole house. There was like a, a cheaper thing where you get to walk around the outside. But this took us through the whole house and you know, that's, you know, because of my love of architecture, what I wanted to do. And uh, it was well worth it. But the reason I'm talking about that is because uh, we drove out there in our cars because we were uh, <sighs> traffic is weird today. Uh, because we were in our car at the time, and this is not what you call a, uh, a touring motorcycle. And uh, the one thing I noticed about southern western part of Pennsylvania was they had freaking fantastic motorcycle roads so if you are a motorcyclist in that area or even not in that area and you're just looking for something to do sometime I would highly 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 recommend checking out Falling Water because the, the drive there at least once you're in the Pennsylvania area is spectacular for motorcycles the roads are really nice they're mountainy windy like they're uh, really a joy to ride in but the uh, the place itself is something worth checking out because it's uh, it is one of the iconic houses in history of architecture it's actually on a beautiful parcel of land and uh, it is like, well worth the journey and 
as a whole, like I've dri I've driven a lot in the in the central western part of Pennsylvania, and like outside of the cities, like the the towns and cities, the roads are like pretty much everywhere else on the planet. They absolutely suck. But the the roads in that area of Pennsylvania are just just made for motorcycles. And uh, you know, I wish I kind of lived closer because I would be riding there more often. But it just uh, you know, it's like about a three or four hour drive with the uh, not in county, however long it's going to take to get through the border. So that's the main reason I don't go there. But I do uh, envy you people from Pennsylvania and of course. Uh, northern part of West Virginia as well because you've got some awesome roads out there. So anyways, that's just a little quick vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Death Doctor, signing off.